This video is for those who filed their U.S. citizenship application on or after December 1st. The new test will be 20 questions chosen from the 128 questions set. You will need 14 out of 20 correct along with your reading and writing tests to pass the test. If you like our video, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our channel. Let us begin. What is the form of government of the United States? We public. What is the supreme law of the land? Constitution. Name one thing the U.S. Constitution does. Forms the government. The U.S. Constitution starts with the words, We the people. What does we the people mean? Self-government. How are changes made to the U.S. Constitution's amendments? What does the Bill of Rights protect? Rights of Americans. How many amendments does the U.S. Constitution have? 27. Why is the Declaration of Independence important? It says all people are created equal. What founding document said the American colonies were free from Britain? Declaration of Independence Name two important ideas from the Declaration of Independence and the U.S. Constitution. Equality and Liberty The words life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness are in what founding document? Declaration of Independence what is the economic system of the United States? Capitalism. What is the rule of law? Everyone must follow the law. Many documents influence the U.S. Constitution. Name one. Declaration of Independence There are three branches of government. Why? Checks and balance Name the three branches of government. Legislative, Executive, and Judicial The President of the United States is in charge of which branch of government? Executive branch. What part of the federal government writes laws? Congress. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? Senate and House. Name one power of the U.S. Congress. Rights laws. How many U.S. Senators are there? One hundred. How long is a term for a U.S. Senator? Six years. Who is one of your state's U.S. Senators now? Answer varies. 
District of Columbia residents and residents of U.S. territories should answer that D.C. or the territory where the applicant lives has no U.S. senators. How many voting members are in the House of Representatives? Four hundred thirty-five. How long is a term for a member of the House of Representatives? Two years. Why do U.S. representatives serve shorter terms than U.S. senators? To more closely follow public opinion. How many senators does each state have? Two. Why does each state have two senators? Equal representation. Name your U.S. representative. Answer will vary. Residents of territories with non-voting delegates or resident commissioners may provide the name of that delegate or commissioner. Also acceptable is any statement that the territory has no voting representatives in Congress. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? Nancy Pelosi. Who does a U.S. Senator represent? Citizens of their state. Who elects U.S. Senators? Citizens. From their state, who does a member of the House of Representatives represent? Citizens in their district. Who elects members of the House of Representatives? Citizens from their district. Some states have more representatives. Than other states, why? They have more people. The president of the United States is elected for how many years? Four years. The president of the United States can serve only two terms. Why? Because of the Twenty Second Amendment. What is the name of the president of the United States now? Joe Biden. What is the name of the vice president of the United States now? Kamala Harris. If the president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The vice president. Name one power of the president. Signs bills into law. Who is the commander in chief of the U.S. military? The president. Who signs bills to become laws? The president. Who vetoes bills? The president. Who appoints federal judges? The president. The executive branch has many parts. Name one. The president. What does the president's cabin do? Advises the president. 
what are our two cabinet level positions? Secretary of Defense. Secretary of Energy. Why is the Electoral College important? It decides who is elected president. What is one part of the judicial branch? Supreme Court. What does the judicial branch do? Reviews laws. What is the highest court in the United States? Supreme Court. How many seats are on the Supreme Court? Nine. How many Supreme Court justices are usually needed to decide a case? Five. How long do Supreme Court justices serve? For life. Supreme Court Justice serve for life. Why? To be independent. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? John Roberts. Name one power that is only for the federal government. Print paper money. Name one power that is only for the states. Provide safety. What is the purpose of the Tenth Amendment? It states that the powers not given to the federal government belong to the states or to the people. Who is the governor of your state now? Answers will vary. District of Columbia residents should answer that DC does not have a governor. What is the capital of your state? Answers will vary. District of Columbia residents should answer that DC is not a state and does not have a capital. Residents of U.S. territories should name the capital of the territory. There are four amendments to the U.S. Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. Any citizen can vote. Who can vote in federal elections? run for federal office, and serve on a jury in the United States. Citizens. What are three rights of everyone living in the United States? Freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, freedom of religion. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? The United States. Name two promises that new citizens make in the Oath of Allegiance. Defend the Constitution. Be loyal to the United States. How can people become United States citizens? Naturalize. What are two examples of civil participation in the United States? Vote, run for office. What is one way Americans can serve their country? Vote. Why is it important to pay federal taxes? Required by law. 
it is important for all men age 18 to 25 to register for the selective service. Name one reason why. Required by law. The colonists came to America for many reasons. Name one. Freedom. Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? American Indians. What group of people was taken and sold as slaves? Africans. What war did the Americans fight to win independence from Britain? American Revolution. Name one reason why the Americans declare independence from Britain. High Taxes Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Thomas Jefferson When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? July 4th 1776 The American Revolution had many important events. Name one. Declaration of Independence There were 13 original states. Name five. Connecticut New York New Jersey Delaware, Maryland. What founding document was written in 1787? U.S. Constitution. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers. James Madison. Why were the Federalist Papers important? They help people understand the U.S. Constitution. Benjamin Franklin is famous for many things. Name one. Inventor. George Washington is famous for many things. Name one. Father of our country. Thomas Jefferson is famous for many things. Name one. Writer of the Declaration of Independence. James Madison is famous for many things. Name one. Father of the Constitution. Alexander Hamilton is famous for many things. Name one. First Secretary of the Treasury. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? Louisiana Territory. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. Civil War. Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. The Civil War. The Civil War had many important events. Name one. Battle of Fort Sumter. Abraham Lincoln is famous for many things. Name one. Free the slaves. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? Free the slaves. What U.S. war ended slavery? The Civil War. What amendment gives citizenship to all persons born in the United States? 
Fourteenth Amendment. When did all men get the right to vote? After the Civil War. Name one leader of the women's rights movement in the 1800s. Susan B. Anthony. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. World War One. Why did the United States enter World War One? Because Germany attacked U.S. ships. When did all women get the right to vote? Nineteen twenty. What was the Great Depression? Longest economic recession in modern history. When did the Great Depression start? The Great Crash, nineteen twenty-nine. Who was president during the Great Depression and World War Two? Franklin Roosevelt. Why did the United States enter World War Two? Bombing of Pearl Harbor. The White Eisenhower is famous for many things. Name one. General during World War Two. Who was the United States' main rival during the Cold War? Russia. During the Cold War, what was one main concern of the United States? Communism. Why did the United States enter the Korean War? To stop the spread of communism. Why did the United States enter the Vietnam War? To stop the spread of communism. What did the civil rights movement do? Fought to end racial discrimination. Martin Luther King Jr. is famous for many things. Name one. Fought for civil rights. Why did the United States enter the Persian Gulf War? To force the Iraqi military from Kuwait. What major event happened on September eleventh, two thousand and one, in the United States? Terrorists attacked the United States. Name one U.S. military conflict after the September eleventh, two thousand and one attacks. War in Iraq. Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. Apache. Name one example of an American innovation. Light bulb. What is the capital of the United States? Washington D.C. Where is the Statue of Liberty? New York Harbor. Why does the flag have thirteen stripes? Because there were thirteen original colonies. Why does the flag have fifty stars? Because there are fifty states. What is the name of the national anthem? The Star Spangled Banner. The nation's first motto was "E pluribus unum." What does that mean? We all become one. What is Independence Day? 
the country's birthday. Name three national U.S. holidays: New Year's Day, Thanksgiving Day, Christmas Day. What is Memorial Day? A holiday to honor soldiers who died in military service. What is Veterans Day? A holiday to honor people in the U.S. military. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, please subscribe to our channel and press the like button.